as you can see there. Representation for the host nation in the form of R.G. Wilson, the, uh, the favourite to take this title with uh, Laura Reisler, also for company. And interestingly here, no European, with the exception, I guess, of Iceland, if you include Iceland broadly in uh, Europe, no European representation at all. Two Americans, three Africans, and the Icelander. And, uh, well, that is a uh, really as a result of the uh, the way the heats were constructed and the uh, qualification criteria. We'll come back to that in a moment. There is RJ Wilson, who has uh, been in terrific form. 21 years old, the former world youth and world junior champion, and uh, the world lead this year. Will we see a sub two minute performance from the winner? There is uh, Wambui, Margaret Wambui from Kenya, still only 20 years old, world junior champion. Habitam Alimu, 18 years old, huge talent from uh, Ethiopia. Comes through as the fastest loser into this uh, final, as did Anita Henrik Stotir, who's uh, one of the more eccentric runners in the 800 meters and uh, has uh, a reputation for being quite erratic going off very quickly there is uh, francine Ion saba from uh, burundi 22 years old the uh, former african champion and henrik stottier alimu and wambui all through as uh, fastest losers and it means the likes of lindsay sharp christina erring and asefa from ethiopia all very very talented athletes really got their tactics wrong and uh, were in the second and third heats and didn't make it through because of the qualification criteria. It was only the winner that went through. Controversial for some people. I know Tim has strong thoughts on that. But we, all ha we have what we have. And RJ Wilson will be looking to uh, add to the medal tally for Team USA. On your mark. Away we go. Final of the uh, women's 800 metres. Four laps of the track. And uh, home interest and the home crowd getting behind RJ Wilson, who immediately, as they break from their lanes, comes across. We have got some uh, quite erratic runners, and uh, there's quite a contrast in style, certainly in the heats that we saw between the, the controlled running of someone like RJ Wilson and the surges we had from the likes of Nyan Saba and Wambui. Now, RJ Wilson loves to lead. She controlled her. Uh, her heat a couple of days ago, she's controlled most of her races this winter. And if anybody has worked out how to beat RJ Wilson, it's to mess up her race plan, get around her now. She has this knack of running at just the right tempo to make it hard to get past her, but uh, not too quick for her to not be able to stay there. Now, this is interesting, Chris, because for uh, a Wambui to move round her there and hit the front is not what RJ Wilson had in a game plan, I think. So, although you could argue that if she, that Wambui goes too quickly as they approach the bell here, and RJ Wilson has, just has the perfect pacemaker. Well, two laps to go, Wambui uh, hitting the front, 400 metres in just outside a minute. The uh, best time of the year is held by RJ Wilson, a, a shade outside of uh, two minutes, and there again we saw it. Alimu has uh, hit the front. In fact, it's uh, Neon Saba. Neon Saba, just as she did in the heat from Burundi, and again, just further evidence of the uh, two of the Africans in this final trying to mess up the rhythm of RJ Wilson at the moment. Raisler right at the back, starting to make a run now with the bell. 600 gone, less than 200 to go. And RJ Wilson has got work to do. Down in third place, she needs to make her move now, surely. It's Burundi one, Kenya two, Wambui running out of time. RJ Wilson surely needs to make her run now. And Raisler coming right back into the race. RJ Wilson surely has to strike now. Neon Saba, Neon Saba into the home straight. Here comes RJ Wilson as she left it too late. Rocking and rolling into second place. I think she has left it too late. Neon Saba, would you believe it, from Burundi takes the title. Just a shade outside two minutes, two hundredths outside. My word, that is the fastest time this year. She was brave, she was courageous. She messed up the rhythm of RJ Wilson and she got her just reward. Yes, Neon Saba there shouting Burundi into the camera. Very, very proud 22-year-old is world champion now. And didn't she take it to them? This was such an aggressive move, earlier than most people thought, I think, 450 metres into the race. And that vicious acceleration in the penultimate lap is what caught RJ Wilson's uh, sleeping, so to speak. Here they are, coming towards the line. Wilson just left it too late. The attack off the final bend got up past Wambui, but nowhere near Neon Saba. Brilliant run from little Neon Saba. Very stocky, powerfully built for an 800-metre runner. But the job done in spectacular fashion 
uh, Chris, to run, as you say, the fastest time in the world this year. Well, a world lead, and congratulations to Francine Yonsaba. It's RJ Wilson's first defeat in six races in 2016.